Hey guys, this is David from Omega Engineering and today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate your load cell into the Omega layer and smart sensing ecosystem. The smart sensing ecosystem can just about take any device with an analog output and you'll be able to connect that to the cloud where you'll be able to read and monitor the data in just about any device 24 7. So we've broken this down into two steps. The first step consists of connecting the load cell to the SP010 and calibrating the load cell using the Omega Sync software. So for this setup, all you'll need is a load cell with ratiometric millivolt per volt output that is connected to a M12 receptacle, and the M12 receptacle plugs into the SP010 smart sensing interface, and the interface connects to the USB serial communication cable that plugs into your computer. So I have already wired the load cell to the M12 4 pin connector using the wiring diagram shown on the SP010 quick start guide. And now we can plug our load cell into our SP010 smart probe interface. Connect the other side of the SP010 to the IF001 USB serial communication cable and connect it to the USB port on your laptop. So let's launch the Omega Sync software. As soon as you launch it, you should see the type over here listed as load cell and the range is load cell, open detect as enable. And the only thing that we need to change over here are the parameters and the units over here if you need to. Take the calibration certificate that comes with the load cell and look at the sensitivity. Now in this case, the sensitivity is 2.00, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to 2.00. Full scale is 1000 grams, hit apply settings. Once you're done with the calibration, if you see a reading over here that is not zero, just hit the tear button over here to allow it to go back to zero grams. And now let's go ahead and apply some dead weight on the load cell to see if it's responding to the load. And that's it folks, 150.0 grams. We have applied a small dead weight on the load cell, which means the load cell is responding to a weight that is being applied on the load cell. There we have it folks. We've connected the load cell to the SP010 smart probe interface, and we've calibrated the load cell with the sync software. So stay tuned for part two, where we will be completing the integration of the load cell into the layer and ecosystem.